Have you ever pondered on what it truly means to be completely fine? Today, we're venturing into the rich narrative of Gail Honeyman's acclaimed novel, Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine. This book, hailed for its authentic portrayal of a woman's journey through loneliness, trauma, and eventual healing, has resonated deeply with readers worldwide. Its popularity lies not only in its poignant storytelling, but also in its exploration of the human condition. Let's dive into the world of Eleanor Oliphant, a character who challenges and redefines what it means to be completely fine. Eleanor Oliphant, the protagonist of our story, is anything but ordinary. Eleanor, with her prim and proper demeanor, her neatly scheduled routines and her penchant for crosswords, might initially strike you as a woman who has her life perfectly under control. But as we delve deeper into her world, we find that Eleanor's life, much like her, is far from ordinary. Her loneliness is as palpable as it is heartbreaking. Eleanor's solitude isn't chosen, but enforced, a result of a traumatic past that has left her with the belief that she is better off alone. Yet, Eleanor's loneliness isn't just a product of her past, but also her present. She's an outsider, navigating through life with a unique worldview that often leaves her misunderstood and isolated. Eleanor's meticulously planned routines, while seemingly mundane, are a testament to her resilience. They're her armor, her coping mechanism, and her way of asserting control where she can. Every frozen pizza on a Wednesday, every bottle of vodka for the weekend, is a ritual of self-preservation, a way for Eleanor to keep the chaos of the world at bay. Yet beneath this armor, beneath the loneliness and the routines, lies another layer of Eleanor, a layer that is sensitive, that craves connection, that yearns for the warmth of companionship. It's this layer that forms the crux of her transformation, a journey that begins when she meets Raymond, her colleague, and finds in him an unlikely friend. Eleanor's quirks, too, play a significant role in her character. Her frankness, her lack of social filters, and her unconventional perspectives often lend a touch of humor to the narrative. Yet, they also serve as a reminder of her innocence, of her uncompromised authenticity in a world that often demands conformity. In Eleanor, we find a character that is as complex as she is intriguing. She's a testament to the human spirit's resilience, a personification of the adage that it's our cracks that let the light in. And as we journey with her, we find ourselves not just rooting for Eleanor, but also reflecting on our own vulnerabilities, our own hidden layers. The journey of self-discovery is never an easy one, especially for someone as unique as Eleanor. In the labyrinth of life, Eleanor embarks on a journey that takes her from the familiar confines of her carefully constructed routines to an uncharted territory of self-discovery. It's a journey marked by struggles, breakthroughs, and an extraordinary resilience that weaves itself into the very fabric of her existence. Eleanor's journey is not a linear one. It's fraught with detours, roadblocks, and the occasional pothole. It's a journey that forces her to confront the ghosts from her past, the traumas that have shaped her, and the loneliness that has become her constant companion. Yet, Eleanor navigates this treacherous terrain with a resilience that is both inspiring and humbling. Her breakthroughs, though few and far between, shine as beacons of hope in the narrative. From her first foray into social interaction at a party, to her tentative steps into friendship with Raymond, each breakthrough carries with it a sense of triumph. These are the moments where Eleanor's resilience truly shines through, illuminating the path to her eventual healing. Yet it's not just about the destination but the journey itself. Eleanor's journey of self-discovery is as much about the struggles as it is about the breakthroughs. It's about the strength to keep moving forward, even when the path ahead is shrouded in uncertainty. It's about the courage to confront one's demons, to face the darkness within, and emerge stronger on the other side. Through Eleanor, we are reminded that self-discovery is not a destination, but a journey. It's about peeling back the layers of our past, confronting our fears, and embracing the person we are meant to be. It's about finding the strength within ourselves to face the challenges life throws our way and emerge stronger, more resilient. Eleanor's journey of self-discovery is not just her journey, but a journey we all embark on at some point in our lives. It's a journey that is as unique as we are, shaped by our past experiences, our hopes, and our dreams. Eleanor's journey is a testament to the power of resilience and the human spirit. In a world rife with loneliness, the power of human connection cannot be underestimated. As Eleanor Oliphant's story unfolds, we see this truth come to life in her relationship with Raymond, 
a colleague whose kindness and patience slowly unravel the walls Eleanor has built around herself. Raymond, with his own quirks, serves as a counterpoint to Eleanor's rigidity. His warmth and genuine concern for Eleanor's well-being introduce a sense of connection that had been absent from her life. Eleanor, who initially views Raymond as simply another part of her routine, gradually comes to appreciate his unwavering kindness and the companionship he offers. This relationship is not without its challenges. Eleanor's past traumas and social awkwardness often create barriers to their friendship. However, Raymond's patience and persistence pave the way for a slow but profound transformation in Eleanor's life. He doesn't try to fix Eleanor. Instead, he treats her with respect and dignity, showing her that she is worthy of friendship and kindness. As their friendship deepens, we see Eleanor begin to heal, to confront her past, and to open herself up to the possibility of connection. Raymond's influence is subtle but transformative, teaching Eleanor that it's okay to lean on others, to accept help, and to offer kindness in return. This narrative arc underscores the transformative power of genuine human connection. It's not about grand gestures or dramatic revelations. Instead, it's about the simple, everyday interactions that bind us together. A shared lunch, a comforting word, a helping hand in a moment of need. It's about being seen, being valued, and being accepted for who we are. Gail Honeyman masterfully illustrates this through Eleanor and Raymond's relationship. She shows us that our connections with others can be a source of healing and growth, a lifeline in a world that can often feel cold and indifferent. She reminds us of the power of kindness, the strength found in vulnerability, and the courage it takes to reach out and connect with another human being. Through Eleanor and Raymond, we witness the transformative power of compassion and connection. Their story serves as a testament to the extraordinary impact of ordinary human connections, reminding us that we are not alone in our struggles and that in the end, it is our connections with others that truly make us completely fine. Mental health is not a black and white issue, and Honeyman's novel beautifully illustrates this complexity. As we delve deeper into the narrative of Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine, we find a vivid exploration of mental health that is as nuanced as it is profound. Eleanor Oliphant, our protagonist, doesn't just grapple with her daily routine and social interactions, she battles the shadows of past traumas, loneliness, and the often overwhelming demands of the world around her. The way Honeyman portrays Eleanor's struggles is not only relatable, but also incredibly authentic. Eleanor's daily life, her thoughts, her reactions, and her coping mechanisms are all painted with a brush of raw honesty that makes her journey feel achingly real. But what makes this exploration truly remarkable is how it challenges societal stigmas surrounding mental health. Eleanor is not defined by her struggles, but rather, she is a fully realized character who happens to be dealing with mental health issues. She is not a caricature or a stereotype, but a complex, evolving individual. This is a refreshing and much-needed departure from the often one-dimensional portrayals of mental health issues in popular culture. The narrative doesn't shy away from the complexities of Eleanor's healing process either. There's no magic cure, no sudden transformation. Instead, we see Eleanor gradually learn, grow, stumble, and get back up again. This realistic portrayal of the healing process is a testament to Honeyman's understanding of the intricate nature of mental health. And finally, the book underscores the importance of empathy and understanding in dealing with mental health issues. Through Eleanor's interactions with Raymond and others, we see how kindness, patience, and genuine human connection can play a pivotal role in someone's healing journey. In Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine, mental health is not a side note but a central theme that drives the narrative. It's a theme that is handled with sensitivity, insight, and a deep understanding of its complexities, making this novel a compelling and enlightening exploration of mental health. Eleanor's journey is not just her own, it is a journey that resonates with every reader. As we've explored, Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine, is a masterfully crafted narrative that delves into the intricacies of the human experience. Eleanor's story, while unique in its details, is universal in its themes, loneliness, resilience, and the transformative power of human connection. Gail Honeyman presents us with a character who is both relatable and unique. Through Eleanor, we are invited to reflect on the impact of past traumas and the strength required to navigate a world that often seems indifferent. Eleanor's journey of self-discovery and healing is a poignant reminder of the power of resilience and the importance of kindness. Moreover, the novel challenges societal stigmas associated with mental well-being. 
It presents a nuanced and empathetic exploration of mental health, fostering a deeper understanding of the complexities of the human psyche. Honeyman's portrayal of Eleanor's struggles is both authentic and insightful, challenging us to consider what it truly means to be completely fine. Finally, the book offers broader societal reflections. It encourages us to practice empathy and compassion, to recognize the importance of genuine human connection, and to appreciate the beauty in our shared humanity. Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine is not just a book, it's a journey that invites readers to reflect, empathize, and most importantly, to understand that it's perfectly okay not to be completely fine.